In this video we're going to talk about importing a multi-FBX into Physics Lab and setting it up. So we'll go ahead and open Physics Lab. We're going to go ahead and create an Apex Destructible. Go to File, Import a 3D Mesh. We're going to go ahead and select the David that we exported out of Max. Go ahead and select Open. You have to give it a minute to import as it's got to read all the uh, all the pieces of the FBX and set them up for the right depth settings. All right, so once it's imported, we'll go ahead and give it a look. Everything looks all right. If you go ahead and look at the preview depth, you will notice that there is a depth one as well as a depth zero. If we select depth one and explode it out, you can see that it breaks into all the individual pieces that we exported out of Max. Go ahead and jump into the playground and hit it, and it breaks up just like we would expect. So now we're going to go ahead and play with some settings. Now what we want to do is you want to be able to break it up into each individual piece, not just hit it once and have the whole thing explode. So we're going to go ahead and set the support depth for one, that way we can break it up into individual pieces. We also want to be able to make it so it sticks to the ground. So we're going to select the foot, we're going to go ahead and select selected chunks and check support. And that will make that foot that we selected as the support, which will basically attach it to the ground. Now if we go into the playground and we start hitting it, we will be able to break off the chunks instead of having it break into individual pieces. And if we hit it at the ankle, we'll see that it that it breaks off and the whole thing will fall over because the support is no longer there. So this is just a real quick view of how to pre-fracture an asset in Max, bring it into Physics Lab, and have it break up 